everybody, welcome to this week's J Shelf. So this week is actually going to be my first ever book review because I wanted to talk about Ogawa Yoko's The Housekeeper and the Professor. Now, this book was first published by Miss Ogawa in 2003 in Japan. It just came out by Picador Press in America in 2009. And I think it is just another great example of why Miss Ogawa is one of the top contemporary female Japanese writers. I'm going to put some pictures in the background of this video to kind of go along with the review. And these are pictures that I shot both while in Tokyo uh, two years ago and more recently in Iwate. So as I mentioned previously, Ogawa Yoko is a contemporary Japanese writer and she burst onto the scene in 1988. And since then, she has over 20 different works accredited to her name, and she's won many of Japan's top literary prizes, including the Akutagawa Prize and the Tanizaki Prize. Now, this book, The Housekeeper and the Professor, revolves around three characters, and we never learn any of their names. The narrator is a young woman who is a housekeeper, so she takes care of different people and their belongings. She's always cleaning, doing laundry, stuff like that. This is how she's able to pay the bills and keep on living and support her 10-year-old son. Now, her 10-year-old son is a very adventurous little boy. He likes going to baseball games. He likes collecting trading cards. He's a really nice kid. And he is given the nickname Root from The Professor. Now, The Professor is the very mysterious character, and he is the newest client for the housekeeper. She has been assigned to work with him, to take care of him and his stuff, but a lot of other housekeepers have been over to the professor's place before, but they've all left just as quickly. And that has to do with the professor's condition. It seems that many years ago he had a really traumatic head experience, and so now he can't remember anything that happened before the experience. And his memory only lasts about an hour and a half before it keeps resetting. So he's constantly having to write down little notes and put them on his coat. And obviously, to have a relationship with someone like this, to work so closely with someone like this, can be very tiring and very frustrating. So the book is all about the relationships between this mathematical professor who is finding the beauty in numbers and this woman who is just trying to support herself and support her son and kind of the relationships that they all form as this quasi-family. For readers who are looking just for a really beautiful book with a very simple yet elegant story, then I highly recommend you check out The Housekeeper and The Professor. This is actually Ogawa Yoko's second book-length work in English translation. And last year, a book called The Diving Pool came out in English, and that included three shorter stories. Thankfully, more of her works are going to be available in English translation next year with Hotel Iris coming out in March, I believe. And this is actually one of her most widely translated works. Sometimes Ogawa will spend very long amounts of time uh, talking about mathematics, since the professor is all about mathematics. And there are just pages and pages of mathematical theories. And while it's very interesting, um, and she certainly did her research about this. I think I was more intrigued by how the characters reacted towards one another and how they were able to form these family-like bonds despite being a very broken-up family uh, in their personal lives. I heartedly recommend that if you're looking for a very elegant, a very nice and moving and quiet and simple book, then The Housekeeper and the Professor is really one you should be on the lookout for. And check out Ogawa's other work as well. Thank you for joining me on this week's J Shelf. Um, a very, very beautiful book. I really recommend it if you're in the mood for a moving story. I hope you have enjoyed this review, and I hope you enjoyed the pictures to go along in the background. And as always, we'll see you next time.